Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see how to fix invalid character value for cast specification error in SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to fix invalid character value for cast specification error in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got an employee file and if I show you the data, what kind of data it contains, so it contains person's ID, first name, last name and date of joining. So you know if some invalid date exists in the data then you might have seen this kind of error that invalid character value for cast specification. So let's try to import this CSV file into a SQL server table and then we will see like if we will pass an invalid date then what kind of error it will occur and how we can handle that kind of error. So let me close this one. This is my SQL Server 2019 instance and I will create the table while creating the SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package and let me just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window because data flow task will be used to import the file. And let me just configure the data flow task. As we are going to import a CSV file so we will be using the flat file source here. And let me just configure the flat file source. I will call the connection manager as flat file and I can just browse the file. My file is of type CSV and this is the file I can click on open. I need to click on preview to see the data. So data seems good here. I can click OK. OK. Now let me just drag and drop the OLEDB destination into the data flow task because we are going to import the data into a SQL server table and then we can connect the flat file source with the OLEDB destination. Now we need to configure the OLEDB destination, need to create a new connection manager. We already have a connection manager created here which is pointing to the work database so I will select this one. I will change the data access mode from table or view to table or view fast load because it will enable the bulk insert. Now because our table does not exist at the moment in the SQL Server database so I will click on new to create a new table. I can name the table uh, maybe EMP and uh, I will change the ID data type to integer and date of joining by default it is taking varchar 50 but I will use it as date. This is a date so that's why I am just using the date data type here. Now I will click on ok so the a table has been created in the database. Now I need to click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so this is fine. Now I can click ok. So my SSIS package has been created which can import a CSV file into a SQL Server database. So let me just execute the SSIS package right now. So the package ran fine and it has loaded 1000 records to the SQL Server table. Now let me just open the query and select the data from the EMP table. So it has imported 1000 records here so that seems good. Now let me just truncate this table for now. EMP. Alright, so I have truncated this table. Now let me just do one thing and let me just modify a date and put an invalid date. So for example for the 7th record, the date is 28th July 2021. So let me just, this is the month, 7 month. So let me put maybe 0 here. So now this date became invalid. Okay. Now let me just close this one, save the changes and try to rerun the SSIS package. So this time the SSIS package should fail because there is an invalid date which won't be converted to a date. So you can see that the package failed and if I check the data in the output window so you will see that error invalid character value for cast specification and it is also telling you the column on which it is failing like uh, this one date of joining column. Okay. So the value could not be converted because of a potential loss of data. So it means that there is a data which cannot be converted. So how we can handle this type of data? So there are only two possible options here that either we can just open the file, correct the data and just rerun the package. This is one of the method. But we don't know like which row can be bad, like which date can be bad. So it's kind of impossible task, at least for me. So the another option can be that we can just move the invalid dates to another table and then we can just identify the records which are having the invalid dates and then maybe we can fix the data and just re-import those data again. Okay, So how we can do that? Like we can just move all the invalid dates records to another table. So to do that what we can do we can use a data conversion task in between. 
So let me just drag and drop the data conversion task and connect the flat file source with the data conversion task. So what we will do in the data conversion task that we will try to convert the date of joining from string 50 to the date type. So in case a conversion will fail then we have an option here that we can just migrate the error records to another table. Okay. So we just selected the data type to dt underscore date which is of date type and the output alias of column will be copy of date joining. Now we can click on configure error output and then we can just select this one. From the fail component to we can select on redirect row and click on apply. Now we can click on apply again. Okay. Now what we need to do, uh, we need to insert this data to a SQL table. So we will be using an OLEDB destination here and then we can connect the error output to the OLEDB destination select this value to the redirect row and then we can click ok and now we can select the blue data path from data conversion to the OLEDB destination and now for this error output we can just right click and configure the OLEDB destination and maybe we can create a new table here so I can call my table as error data so if you notice that we have all the columns ID first name last name date of joining and then we got two extra columns error code and error column as well so error column can let you know like which on which column it is fading but it is of integer type so maybe it's a number of the column so I can click ok we can check the mapping so this seems good here we can click ok so now what should happen because in my file we have 1000 records but out of 1000 records one record has a bad date and other 999 records are good so what will happen that 999 records should be imported to the AMP table and then just one bad data should be moved to the errored data table. Okay, so we should have, yeah, so both the tables are empty as of now. Now let me just go back to the SSIS package and try to execute the SSIS package again. Okay, so you can see that 1000 records came from the CSV file and 999 records got imported to the SQL server table EMP and then one record got moved to the error data table. So let me just select the data from error data table now. So this is the seventh record actually which got failed here and this date is invalid. Okay and the EMP table should have 999 rows. So you can see that this is like this is what we wanted from the SSIS package. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.